Hi, I'm Todd Kelly from Nissan Motorsport. Welcome to Crim Safe Talking Tech. Today we're talking about the Nissan VK56 V8 supercar engine. Very, very new and unique to V8 supercars. Completely different to what has been in the sport for the last 15 or so years. The differences mainly are the fact that it's a road car based engine. The exact engine block and cylinder head that you can go into a dealership and buy in the new Nissan Patrol. So big difference being aluminium block rather than cast iron and obviously uh, quad cam, overhead cam, four valve uh, engine which is completely different to what's normally been running V8 supercars. So what you can see here is a standard block and a standard cylinder head out of a road car and we've basically turned it into a race engine. Uh, starting from the bottom, purpose uh, designed and manufactured uh, billet aluminium sump which was designed and machined uh, in-house. Uh, different oil pump, everything that you can see on the front of the engine here from all of the covers uh, even the pulleys uh, were all designed and machined in-house. The water pump, uh, the whole intake manifold, uh, top to bottom, was designed and manufactured in-house as well. One of the big things here uh, is the height of, and the width of this engine compared to a normal V8 supercar engine, a lot higher uh, and a lot wider. So what is an ideal on a race engine is a, a bent over manifold, which is not what you'd normally run in a V8 supercar but the top of the engine basically sits on the bonnet here and uh, also on the windscreen. The windscreen actually sits about halfway down the engine and it's touching the top of the airbox. So to get the optimum length of trumpet, if it was straight it would actually protrude out the bonnet. So not ideal from a design standpoint but unfortunately one of those constraints that we have to deal with. One of the big differences in the Nissan VK56 engine compared to a normal V8 supercar engine is obviously the quad cam and along with that is the whole timing chain and cam drive system. We've fortunately been able to draw on a lot of the experience from Nismo in this area. They've given us a huge amount of help, uh, especially in not only the spec and supply of the actual chain, which is a lot uh, heavier and stronger than a road car chain, but more so the guide and tensioning system, which is all solid, all uh, machined out of billet aluminium in-house. Uh, we have taken the, uh, the whole driving chain system to a whole new level because uh, us as, as drivers have managed to break the chain a few times. So we've actually made a few mods um, since uh, earlier this season and made the whole drive system a lot more durable so as of now fingers crossed uh, that's the last of the mechanical issues we have with the timing chain very very big change to what we've normally done you normally spend uh, hours and hours and hours on a spintron to make a, an engine stable in the valve train so we've had all of a few months to do uh, three or four years worth of work in that area to try and get this reliable so uh, as I said fingers crossed hopefully we're on top of it. Uh, all of the valve covers have all been designed and machined in house. Under there uh, we've got obviously two camshafts, an inlet and an exhaust. We've to date tried uh, countless different specifications of camshaft, of, of lift and duration on both sides. Uh, we're not quite happy with the um, the camshaft set up versus the manifold and the port right now. There's still quite a bit of development to do there, but hopefully later this year we can actually get all of that stuff signed off and, and have just the one spec across all the engines. Uh, very early days in the development of this engine, it feels like we've been racing this engine for, for years now, but we've only done four or so rounds, so very early days. Uh, not quite where uh, we potentially like it to be, but a huge amount of potential left in the engine that we need to uh, knuckle down and, and spend more time with R&D and the development, especially of the cylinder head and the manifold. What you see here is basically our very first attempt at the engine. Um, so we're very, very confident that later in the year, once we finesse all of the little bits and pieces that we've designed, 
uh, the cars and the engine should be extremely competitive. Buying security screens? Most CrimSafe lookalikes can pop out in just a few seconds, but the real CrimSafe doesn't, thanks to its patented screw clamp. Cheap lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But CrimSafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. CrimSafe resists attack and corrosion and now has the ultimate warranty, 15 years. Ask for a demonstration today, because if it's not CrimSafe, it's not CrimSafe.